Here we are with the Flash Tile List Photo Gallery using XML provided by MasterFlash.net. Uh, this video again is only a sample video just showing you bits and pieces of what comes a part of the uh, three hour tutorial that we offer on the site. What we're going to do in this one is we're going to drop you about 30 minutes into part two just sort of uh, running through some basics and uh, just some small explanations. Here we go. All right, um, now looking at this, we publish this out. When we're scrolling through these images by using these buttons, what we need it to do, you know, we want them to be able to see these images as clear as when the mouse is over it. So we basically need to give this some more code to tell it, all right, hey, you know, when somebody's over the next button, you need to show these images in case they're going to scroll through them. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, top back into our gallery controller. And we need to do this for the uh, forward button and the previous button. So what we need to do here is basically just need to reference what we referenced up here. All right. So for the tile list over, all right, I'm going to go ahead and copy this up here from our tile list over. All right. I'm going to come down here and add this to the function. So not only would the forward button go to and play, we're also going to set this up with the tile holder go to and play over. All right, and we can come down here to the uh, previous over and paste that down here also. All right, and if we get to the uh, tileish rollout, just come up here, grab this, copy it, come down here to the uh, forward rollout, make a new line, paste it in here, come down to the previous, all right, paste it in here, and uh, we should be good to go. So if we roll over these buttons, we should see some action over here. All right, looking good. That way, when they're rolling over it, it's just clear. They can kind of see how it's getting selected and sliding through the images, things like that. All right, so um, obviously you would want to have these work with some external links. All right, uh, the best way to do that is I need to actually uh, set this up. Let's see, what can we do here? All right, I'm going to come back into the main stage over here and I'm just going to kind of make this short. Obviously, if I show you how to do this one time, you're going to be able to uh, pick it up and, you know, know how to use this for several buttons across it because it's fairly repetitive and fairly easy. OK, what I'd like to do is just kind of draw a little square. I'm not going to make this look like anything. All right, I'm just going to draw a square that we can just kind of turn into a button. All right, I'm just going to call this. So I'm going to uh, turn this into a movie clip, just hit F8, call this sample underscore MC. All right, I'm going to give this an instance name of sample underscore MC. All right, close this down. Okay, now that we have that set up with an instance name of uh, sample MC, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this work inside of your Flash document and make it work with uh, some external URLs. All right, and we're going to basically use the same style of buttons we've been making here. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and jump into our gallery controller. Excuse me. Okay. All right, uh, basically. I guess we can come okay so to set this up really we can just kind of grab this code up here all right I'm just gonna copy this we'll uh, well I guess we only need one way you obviously see how using the uh, rollout, rollover, and rollout works. Okay, so all we really need is this right here, just the click. All right, we're not going to create any special graphics for this button. Just going to uh, this is more for extra, so you know how to uh, make this not just a standalone player, and you can actually throw some links in here and stuff like that. So uh, what we can put is, um, of course, we need to uh, change this name here to uh, sample underscore MC. All right, make this as uh, sample underscore select. And let's see, just come on down here to the bottom. Okay, 
Now, how this works is basically what you do is you define, obviously, what uh, this is right here. All right. So we need to say uh, private function. Uh, what was it? Sample underscore select. Opening parentheses event colon mouse event. Closing. Oh, uh, comma. No, 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 no. Mouse event. Confuse myself for a second. All right. Mouse event, closing parentheses, colon void, opening bracket, next line. All right, to uh, make this go to an external URL, all right, just basically make this fairly easy, var home underscore mc URL, colon URL request equals new URL request. And right here is where you would put your directory path that you want this to go to, all right? For example, if I wanted to send this to my homepage, All right, just kind of throw that in there. And then we're not done with that. What we have to set up is the uh, navigate to, to URL, navigate to URL, opening parentheses, reference our home MC URL, home underscore MC URL, comma. All right, then you can select the window, whether it's self, all right, or blank. I'll keep this itself. And then of course, close this with a closing parentheses, semicolon, next line, and uh, go ahead and close that out. So if we publish this, we should be all set. All right, so now if I click on this, I should see a browser. Yep. And uh, it's basically over here, all right. So that is how you would make it work with uh, external links through the dot class. And if you wanted this to work inside of the same file, let's say send it to a frame label or something like that all right obviously if you're working on the same or the main timeline here this is what you would put you would just put go to and uh, play or go to and stop you know whatever label okay and then obviously when they select on it it's going to go to the uh, specific part of the timeline that you want this going to okay and again, remember, you can uh, you know, create buttons like that to kind of fire or whatever. This is basically where you have the ability to uh, generate any kind of functions inside of the uh, private functions. I mean, really, the only difference between this than uh, working inside of the interface is really just the uh, private factor. Okay. Sometimes you have to go a little, you know, a few extra steps. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and leave this in here as uh, some notes. I won't take that out, but I need to uh, remove this too. Okay, so let's just kind of publish this out and I'll do a quick run through of how all this operates. All right, doesn't look too bad. That is the end of the flash tileless photo gallery using XML sample video. Uh, you can find the source files and the full video tutorial located on masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.